What's up guys, Zsec208 here. Welcome to week number eight of the weight update. Uh, last week we were 281.6 and uh, our goal was to be 279 at the end of today or today, whatever. So um, with that being said, this is the physique update with the uh, same shirt. No, uh, no pushing out stomach, but no sucking in stomach. Just kind of normal for me walking around. Uh, this is with a little bit of, oops, a little bit of, uh, flexing on there with the shirt sucking in. Things like that. So that is with the shirt and then this is without the shirt. So same thing, no, uh, no flexing, no sucking in. That's without the shirt, bicep flex. You can definitely tell a bit more definition in the biceps, even like uh, uh, even like seeing like the lines there and stuff. Uh, so that's nice. You have tricep, about the same thing. You can kind of just see a little bit, uh, like ch like chest and like traps. Doing that, forearms definition. Full flex up front, and then side with the arms, and then back. All right, so with that, uh, 279 was the goal. All right, so this is our current weight. Two seventy nine point two. I checked earlier and I was two seventy eight point seven. Um, I'm gonna check again without the phone. Probably the same. Two seventy nine point two. Okay, so two seventy nine point two is what we'll put. I was two seventy eight point seven like ten minutes ago, um, but uh, so we made it pretty much. We're point two off of what we were supposed to be, but. Um, yeah, we got the 279 that we were looking for. Little uh, continuity error. Uh, it's about two days and I got a haircut and all that stuff. But uh, so we lost the weight, which is awesome. But how do we lose the weight? That's what we want to break down. So uh, on the screen, I will be having this very detailed table of uh, the workouts that I did and how many calories I burned from those workouts. And, uh, you know, it shows you how long I did the workout for, what my average heart rate was and all that stuff. So all of this information that you're going to get is getting it with the Apple Watch Series 3. And every single morning, I when I weigh myself, I update my weight in the Apple Watch and Health and all that stuff apps to get the most accurate readings. Uh, to preface this, I know any kind of fitness tracker, watches, bands, whatever you use, aren't 100% correct. Uh, but we're just going to go by those numbers because that's really all we can go for, right? So... Um, so I want to kind of explain that. And uh, again, that's why I always update my weight because if you have a very wrong weight on your watch or your fitness tracker, it will be even more inaccurate, right? So I'm trying to get it as accurate as DJ Khaled, as DJ Khaled would say, as accurate as possible, right? So we're going to go down just like the first day and then I'm, I'm not going to full blown go through this whole thing just because it'll just be a bunch of mumbling and jumbling and all that stuff. It'll just be confusing, but we're going to kind of break down the main numbers on this. Uh, so we're just going to start with Sunday. We'll go into Monday as well, just so you guys kind of tell how this all works. If you guys want to see um, what results I'm getting and how it'll, it can possibly help you and things like that. Again, I'm not a nutritionist or a dietitian or an expert in anything. I'm just a fat kid doing this. So don't you know, not even a kid, you know, I'm 28, but, um, so let's break this down. So I'll put the table on the screen. So we have uphill walking on Sunday. We have uphill walking with about 15 minutes, 10 pound dumbbells. So what that means is if you go to the next section where it says calorie calories burned, it's 915 calories total, uh, with an hour and 47 minute workout. So out of the hour and 47 minutes for 15 of those minutes, we had 10 pound dumbbells in my hand, right? Doing, uh, just walking with those dumbbells, right? So average heart rate was 105. And that's all from the watches, you know, 
information and that broke down to have 950 calories so let's go to the next section here where it says like total steps and all that i put my total steps on there just because i put total steps just to you know show that you have to be kind of active just by walking if you're going to go like to the mall and stuff just just walk right be more active don't just sit down all the time uh but we can just kind of skip the total steps that doesn't really matter too much but the what matters is total burned 915 calories and then um at the end I have total, and it's kind of confusing because it jumps to the end because I put totals at the end of the week and it just made more sense this way. But we have uh, consumed calories in the green at 1,736 calories, right? So, uh, and again, all of this information, again, is coming from the Apple Watch. So the resting calories is what the Apple Watch is showing. There's a resting calories uh, section and there's an active calorie section. So active calories will be anything with you like moving or an actual specific workout that you're doing will add into that. But with those combined together, it was 4,986 calories burned that day, technically from the watch, and then I ate 1,736 calories uh, on there that's how it kind of breaks down we'll go we'll do monday as well just so you guys can get like more detail or let's just do tuesday because i had the most information on that one so with tuesday we had three separate workouts we had chest workout we did that for 39 minutes average heart rate of 110 298 calories regular walk at speed three we did that for 45 minutes average heart rate was 105 for 237 calories and then we had another section of jog at speed four Sprint at speed six for one minute out of the 14 minutes for an average heart rate of 142 to 206. So I hope that kind of helps how it breaks it down to um, get those specific numbers, right? And how much activity I have to do to burn that amount of calories. That will always change. The lighter you are, technically you will burn less calories because your body is, it goes through things easier. That's why bigger people can lose weight faster because you burn so much more calories by just existing right um so again same thing total burn resting calories all that's the same so with that being said um we're gonna break down the total numbers right now this is how i broke it down so the first section is total steps doesn't matter we had 80 84,000 total steps uh that week and then we have total burned so just from actual physical workouts running walking um like gym walking, not like regular walking, but gym walking, weights, all that stuff, 6,176 calories for the week. Um, and we ate a total of 10,988 calories. So that's what we ate for the whole week. So that breaks down. We have two sections, as you can see here. We have an Apple Watch section, and we have a with a BMR calculator section. What those two are is we have the Apple Watch showed, you know, all the resting calories total came to 20,378. All the active calories total came down to 10,607, giving us a total of 10,000 or sorry, 30,985 calories. Sorry, there's so much numbers and jumbling. That's why I didn't want to go through this whole sheet. Uh, that's why it's there available for you guys. If you guys need to pause anywhere, sure. So 30,985 calories and with the physical food that I took in. So with the Apple Watch, it's showing that we had a net loss of 19,997 calories for that week, right? That concludes if if your body is like a calculator, if it is like that, which it's not, uh, a pound of fat is 3,500 calories, as they say. 5.7 pounds would be technically with, if the Apple Watch was 100% correct, again, it's not, I would have technically lost 5.7 pounds. So the one next to it is with BMR calculator. I took my actual weight, my uh, age and all that stuff, you know, a typical BMR calculator. And it shows my BMR is 2,200 calories, right? So I calculated, let's say that for every single day with the active calories on there, it's a difference of 15,453 calories, putting us at 4.4. Uh, 4.4 pounds lost that week. So that's pretty accurate when you really look at it because obviously that's counting you know you're there's so many different things your body does with water weight with any kind of retention if you ate a little bit more salt the previous day you'll retain more water therefore more weight things like that if you didn't go to the bathroom properly or if you you know weighed in right after you went to the bathroom there's so many differences between um 
between what your body can weigh at any given time, right? Like even on my weigh-in, I weighed like 0.6 pounds lighter than than I did at that time. You know, like who, ex- you know, exactly how it works. Who knows? Your body is not a calculator. So if you are super anal about like going up in weight later in the day, don't don't get discouraged from that stuff because. You'll see next week, because I'm already like halfway in this week, you'll see next week, I actually wanted to test a theory for myself to get that mindset out of my mind, and we'll go through that next week, um, but you'll see what I'm talking about when we get there. Uh, I just don't want to say anything. I just want to keep it at just be more active, eat less, eat healthier, find substitutes that will help. You know, for me, almond milk is saving my life. I'll have my fitness pal on there as well. I broke down absolutely everything that I ate to the freaking T. Uh, every gram of anything that went into my mouth or every inch. <laughs> so anything that went into my mouth, I put on my fitness uh, pal. And that's exactly I, – I, I can't get more accurate numbers than this. This is his most this is the most accurate that I can get with the with the supplies that I have in my vicinity in my in my existence. So with that being said, the numbers are pretty good. We lost 2.7 pounds. You know, that can be muscle, weight as well added. It can be all that stuff. But 2.7 pounds for something that on paper I should have lost 4.4 pounds is pretty good. That's that's it's really really accurate right um you got to find that fine balance too like there was a certain day in there i think it was like wednesday it's the one i barely burned 500 calories i was sluggish i was super sluggish and i really felt like i was under eating for what i needed that next day i ate like a bigger meal and boom i'm right back on it right i kind of did the same thing this week and you'll see exactly what i did uh next week when we do week number uh nine or uh yeah week number nine but um, yeah, overall, you know, I'll have the tables broken down as well uh, in the description down below. Uh, I'll have my fitness pal stuff in the description down below if you want to see specifically what I eat. And yeah, I just I just want to kind of go through like detailed information to show like how I got to this position. Hopefully, it helps you guys out to show that you know it takes work. You know, it takes work and I'm having better success by like tracking app, not doing it like not doing this sheet or anything like this is mainly just like for you guys to like show what I'm doing uh, to show like what kind of progress you have to do for how much. Uh, So like next time you, you know, think of eating a donut, you're like, "Mm, is it worth it? You know what I mean? You can, you can, but just know that, hey, like you should, you should eat smarter to get more full from something, right? Um, but I just want to show you how much it takes to lose, uh, you know, that much weight. And th- that's really, that's actually very good. That's a an aggressive amount of weight in a week. So uh, that's pretty much that. Again, things will be in the description down below. I'm going to do the same thing next week. We'll kind of break it down. Uh, but if you want to see, like, more detailed information um, and kind of look at it more, uh, that we can do that. Uh, if there's anything that you guys want to see, we can test out or whatever, things like that. We can always do that as well. That's why I'm doing this test that you'll see next week for one day. I just want to see how it's going to come out. I was happy with the results. So other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, this was kind of a different style of update. It wasn't just like me standing there and talking, but it was just me sitting and talking. So it's pretty much the same shit. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. So um, thank you guys so much for joining on week number eight of the weight update and yeah if you have any questions you know comment down below if you have any concerns comment down below uh anything like that if you want to dm me instagram you know all that stuff i have everything is dsec 28 so just dm me on that if you needed i missed the whole youtube dms they used to do that i missed those days but thank you guys so much for joining and uh if you guys liked it hit the like button down below if you want to see more hit the subscribe button down below yeah You guys have a wonderful and beautiful day. DSEC 2 waits out.